Hi, I'm Sarah. You're watching Domino Autonomy. Thanks for coming back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different than what I usually talk about, but um, I want to talk about what makes art valuable. So um, first of all, the most obvious thing is supply and demand. So you have a product, a lot of people want it, automatically the price goes up. People are going to bid on it. They're going to want it. They're going to pay whatever, you know, the market demands if that's what they really want. So the second thing that makes art valuable is brand. So if you're an artist and you want to be successful and you want your art to hold value, to last a lifetime, you have to build your brand as an artist. So um, one way you can do this is you can, in the modern world, you can use social media you can use um, the internet. You can, um, you know, put yourself out there, build yourself up. Maybe you, um, you know, you're reaching a certain audience and you're building your brand. Well, in the art world, to be really, really successful, the way you build your brand is basically by who you know. Um, your reputation as an artist is sort of held up by the art dealers. So an art dealer is somebody who runs an art gallery. So usually um, people that own art galleries and run successful art galleries, the, the really, really big ones. Now, there are plenty of small local art galleries, but I'm talking about the big ones where the guys on Wall Street, they go and they spend big money on art. Um, these guys, they have a lot of connections. Um, and this is one way that really well-known artists build their brand. Um, recently, actually recently I was watching this video. I don't know if you've ever heard of the artist named Banksy. Um, he's really well known for like street art and, um, basically he did an experiment and he had a booth on the street in New York. And he had a whole bunch of art out and people are walking by and there's a sign. It says $60 for an original art, one of a kind. And people are walking by and they pro he probably sells four or five, six paintings the whole day. And it just goes to show that without the brand Banksy, without his name, his art is just, it's just another painting. In today's world, Anyone can be a good artist. Um, there's so many. There's millions of artists, um, especially with um, digital art. You have this technology now where anyone can um, basically learn the technology. Artists, once upon a time, spent a long time practicing just how to draw a straight line. And now today we have technology where you draw a line and the software turns it into a straight line for you. So we've really, we've come a long way and more and more people with social media and tutorials and online, the world is filled with artists. So how do you become an artist in this world? Well, you have to build your brand. Um, so in the art world, um, now more than ever, the, the highest amount of money being spent is now with the lowest amount of art sold. So let me try to explain that to you. So a hundred years ago, if we're selling this much, one, a hundred million dollars, well, that's probably a lot, <laughs> but we're selling this much and we have this much being sold. Now we're selling billions 70, 100 billion, who knows, you know, with all these backdoor deals, but billions of dollars. And now there's this many artists. It's really, it's an elite club. So um, how does this all tie into me? Like, why am I talking about this? So basically, um, I'm an artist. I loved art as a kid. I got into art because of magic, TCGs. And I ended up going to an art school in high school and I spent a lot of time 
um, you know, doing assignments, drawing, learning figure and form and all the stuff. And I ended up um, not going to art college. I started a family young and I kind of put my dreams on hold. And I spent the last 20 years um, making a little bit of art, but not as much as I could have, but also at the same time, um, when you're an artist, like your dream is to be successful. Like you want to make a piece that's going to last forever. You want to make something that's um, memorable, it's special. It's really hard as an artist when you put a lot of time, effort, love, into your piece to sell it for a low price. And when you don't have that name and you don't have that brand, you can't sell your piece for a really high value. So I've kind of spent the last years, I do commissions for like friends and family. I give my artist gifts. I keep it mostly for myself. And it's because, you know, I respect the hustle of people that go on Etsy and, or maybe they make Magic the Gathering card altars. Um, I know that's something that a lot of people are into, but here's, here's my opinion. Your art is backed by the value of the card. If you had done that painting on a piece of paper, would anybody want it in the same way that they want it because it's on the card? And I know that's like a really harsh thing to say <laughs> because there's so much art out there. You really have to make yourself special. And there are some amazing card altruists out there and they're very successful. And in no way is this like, I'm trying to be negative towards them. It's just my personal opinion that I <clears throat> don't necessarily feel that it's when you have a family and you have three kids, your time is valuable. So you have a card, the, the person purchasing it is mostly paying for the price of the card. You might spend five hours altering a card only after the price of the card to make $20, $50 profit. And yeah, sure, for some people that, that might be worth it, but for others it's not. And <laughs> so I'm trying to tie this all together here, but my goal is to make my brand. And to make your brand, you have to get people to believe in your art. And, you know, it also helps to have people support your art and who you know. And it's just, it's a really complicated world to navigate to be an artist. Um, so yeah. So since I kind of put my dream on hold in my 20s, I'm deciding that my 30s is about me, my brand, and the future of my art. So, um... Yeah, so I'm actually working on a project right now, and it's something I'm really, really excited about. Um, I kind of feel like this is an idea that nobody has done before, and I, it's kind of like a culmination of my life work. And I know that sounds crazy, but I have spent my whole life trying to think of something that would make my art special, because that's the only way you can make it. I really believe, like, technically, I could paint anything I want, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be valuable. It doesn't mean that it's going to, it's not going to mean anything to the world. Maybe, you know, one other person will like it, but art is subjective, um, and you want a large amount of people to agree on the value of your work, so it's really important in how you do that. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but, um, yeah, so I'm working on this project. I'm probably about almost halfway through. And I'm really eager to share it with people because I, I feel like once you come up with a good idea and you really feel like nobody else has done it, you're like, I really just want to get it out there before somebody else does. Like, maybe that's just me. I, you know, I assume the worst, but yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's really, it's all about, you know, exclusivity, scarcity, and who wants your art and um yeah i'm really excited to share this project with you that i'm working on and um you know probably nobody's listening by now but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that you'll believe in my art and um i'm making some original stuff and i hope you'll really like it and yeah subscribe comment like all that good stuff thank you so much guys